Hi, Year 9, and welcome to your GCSE Design and Technology Textile Specialism Taster Session and um, Info video. Hopefully, um, you'll gain a bit more insight into what we do at GCSE Textiles. Um, so remember, the course is just called GCSE Design Technology, but your specialism will be textiles. Okay, moving forward. Um, right, okay, so... Um, the GCSE is split into two parts, so it's 50% exam and 50% coursework. Um, here is the textbook on the screen that you can see here that we follow. Um, the exam board is EDUCAS, which is part of WJEC. Um, and so part A, you'll be covering um, these topics, so please be aware that as a textile student, you'll still be expected to find, um, learn about DT in our world, smart materials, electronics, mechanisms, and different types of materials like wood, plastics, metals, paper and board, and textiles. So, but they're just the basics of DT. So these what we this is what we call the core five topics that we cover for DT. So um, in the same way that some students in year nine um, might want to pick um, DT in the workshop, um, regardless if they're doing a workshop or if you're doing textiles, both classes will sit the same uh, exam paper and you'll be covering part A together. So everyone will be covering these um, core topics. So please bear in mind that you have five core topics for DT that you will have to learn. So that is part of the specification, regardless if you wanna focus on textiles, you still need to learn this. So just bear that in mind when you arrive, okay? Um, so don't be surprised if you are um, covering um, some lessons on the basic properties of wood. Um, as you are a DT student, you need to know that for your exam, okay? But don't worry, because part B of your exam, so once you flip, flip over the paper in your exam at the end of year 11, um, part B, you'll scan and find the textile section, and you'll be answering more in-depth questions just about your specialism, which will be um, about textiles, which you'll learn with me, okay? So, um, yeah, so don't be daunted. Um, you'll just learn the core theory for DT, the five topics, and then you will predominantly focus on the textiles, knowledge, and theory, and... Um, skills etc for your coursework okay so the other 50 percent um is your coursework um so we'll cover that in a second so just so you know um types of careers that could come out of um doing a dt gcse you could be a product designer a graphic designer you could be a fashion designer you could be a surface designer you could be a fashion buyer you could work in costume design and set design so um you could be a surface um surface designer where you can like design the patterns that get printed on fabrics, et cetera. You could be an interior designer. So there are many, many options um, that it can take you down. Okay, so DT is a really kind of transferable skills GCSE that can take you down many routes. And plus you can always excel to doing it at A level if you wanted to, okay? All right, moving forward. So before I go on about the coursework, um, just to explain, um, so I do get lots of questions being asked about, I can't draw, do I have to be a good drawer? No, you don't. Um, I will teach you how to express your own unique style on the paper. Now it's not art, so please don't think that I'm expecting you to draw like um, a body of a man or a woman in, in proportion, etc. It's all about DT, it's all about how you communicate your idea on paper in a way which is um, presented really well, okay? And give her tricks and um, tips that we, we give you um, to teach you how to do that appropriately yeah so it's not it's not an art gcse so we don't expect you to draw beautifully what we do expect you is to experiment and find a style that works for you so you can use a template under the paper that is completely valid you're not going to get marked down for that you could use a light box you can use a stencil you could use collage as a way of uh, expressing your designs you can do it on an ipad or digital art like whatever you find easiest and like play to your strengths um, when you're designing okay so you could do it the traditional way using a pencil pen like drawing freehand if you wanted to but um we'll, i will show you examples in a second but yeah so find a way that suits you so everyone works really differently and you'll see in a second on the next slide um, I can't sew. Do I have to be a good sewer? No, you don't. When you come into year 10, you'll learn from scratch again. Usually like after you've had like a five week holiday. Anyway, you forget everything. So when you get back um, into textiles in year 10, we start from scratch. We make sure that we build the basic skills of the sewing machine week by week and then build you up eventually to be pros at using the sewing machine. OK, so do not worry. You don't need to be a good sewer. You don't need to own a sewing machine at home either. That is a plus, but you don't have to. Okay, so please bear that in mind. Um, what do you make? Do I have to make a dress? 
no, you do not have to make a dress or a um, pair of trousers, whatever. You can make wh whatever you want to down the line, okay? So obviously when we start in year 10, we do um, build on knowledge of working with fabrics and construction techniques. And some people may want to experiment and say, I would like to make um, a pair of trousers or a dress or a pair of shorts or a shirt, etc." But others might wanna make a hat, a blind, um, a screen, um, a bag, a bean bag for your cat, it really doesn't matter so long as you are using some type of fabric material, okay? So long as your product has a fabric element to it, so it doesn't really matter what it is, okay? So if you're a fashion enthusiast and you wanna be a fashion designer, by all means, yes, make a garment, that's up to you. But please don't be daunted by the fact that you, oh my God, I need to make a full on, outfit, coat, jacket, hat, well, you don't need to do that. So please don't worry about that. Um, again, it's really open to interpretation. You can create whatever you want to for your own final project in year 11. But in year 10, we do small little projects that build on the skills that you need to learn. So when you come to year 11, you say to me, I want to make a jacket or a coat that you know how to do that. Okay, so in year 10, we build you up um, so that you are ready to pursue a project that you are um, confident in pursuing and end ending and completing, etc. cetera. Um, do we go on any trips? Yes, we do go on trips, but hopefully um, when the pandemic is over, we will go on trips. So we go to, uh, we do workshops at the Harry Potter studios um, based on like costume design. We go to the v &A museum where appropriate um, when there's an exhibition on um, based like on your course and if it's relevant to your course etc okay so any type of exhibition that's um, relevant to us we will go to but yes hopefully um, the pandemic um, will allow us to do that um, right okay so these are just things in year 10 that has um, happened in the past so like I said um, in year 10 I asked you what you would like to um, pursue so most people tend to make um, clothes, but not all of them. You can see there's an example on the screen, um, someone making um, like a book cover for a planner out of textiles and embellishing it with the years so of 2019 there. Um, so remember, it is whatever you want to do. You're not being forced to make anything. Okay? If you don't feel like you want to make a garment or a dress or a skirt or whatever, you don't have to. Okay. And if there's any gentleman watching, um, you can make a hoodie, um, trousers, jacket, whatever you want to make, gentlemen and ladies, yeah. Um, you can see on the screen that we've got um, two skirt examples being um, modeled by the lovely previous chart students. Um, so, so you can see at the bottom that I've got keywords here. So construction techniques on the machine you'll, uh, you'll learn about, how to read and work with clothes pattern. So obviously to make a garment, if that's the path that you want to go down, you do need to be able to understand how to create a template. So a closed pattern, if you're paying attention in, in year nine, is, um, is a template of the clothes, the shape of the garment, et cetera, that you have to lay out on fabric and cut and kind of piece together like a puzzle, okay? Um, decorative techniques. So you'll be learning how to decorate fabric um, in fun and exciting ways, like screen printing, block printing, batik, tie dye, all of the embroidery techniques, et cetera. So you'll cover that so that when you come to your final project in year 11, you'll pick the one that you like the most, okay? So remember year 10 is all about experimenting, trying out different projects so that by the time you come to the end of year 10, you are really confident in knowing that what you like to work with, um, what's worked for you at the end of year 10, so that you can then move on in year 11 with the project that you want to do, okay? Right, moving forward, again, some more examples from year 10s, um, some previous year 10s. Um, so we've got a dress and a pair of shorts that were made. And these are types of examples of um, year 11 coursework, okay? So for example, like I said before, screen printing is um, when you actually design your prints digitally and the laser cutter will cut out stencil for you and you'll screen print um, using a squeegee and a mesh. Well, if you pick it, I'll show you. But um, yeah, so that, that flower in the corner you can see has been screen printed, but that was designed on the computer. Okay, and it was tested out with different colors on fabric until the student liked the color pattern and went with that one. You can see on the top right hand corner, another print that was used at the bottom of a dress. You can see at the bottom and it was plus it was tight over dyed as well. So you've got great screen printing and tie dye at the same time. And there's also um, diamante embellishments on there. Um, you'll get to experiment, test, fail with the sewing machine, fail over and over again, but get better. Okay, so um, be prepared to really go for it and just try and error, try 
trial and error, you'll get better at using the sewing machine. Um, you can see some more examples of garments at the bottom of the screen there. So really, the project is up to you. Obviously, you'll get a theme from the exam board, but your coursework will be around that theme, but it's very open. So you will take the direction of the project in your own, um, in, you'll interpret it in your own way, and you'll um, steer it towards wherever you want to go with it, okay? So it doesn't, again, like it does not have to be a garment, okay? But, but predominantly, people choose to make garments, but please don't be daunted by that. You don't have to do that. It could be, I have had students make a bag and still get a nine at the end of it, okay? Right, moving on. So this was what I was talking about in terms of drawing. Um, you, you don't have to be a brilliant drawer, okay? Um, so the images in the middle and the bottom right-hand corner, they are, this student used a template, okay? So they just, the proportion of the body and actually the dress and the folds of dress were taken from a template, which you are allowed to do. It is not copying. You're allowed to, um, to trace over a template, but obviously you have to design, put the surface design on there yourself. So you can see the student experiment, experimented with um, watercolor and pencils on the, the bottom right-hand corner, sorry, the bottom left-hand corner and the centerpiece. The image on the right-hand side um, is a collage. That's a cutout of um, like leaves, et cetera, a, a printout, a color printout of leaves. Um, and the student designed the body um, themselves. The one on the top left-hand corner, again, they've used a template to draw the shape of the body, but they predominantly worked with collage, okay? So this is my current year 10s right now. Um, this was their first project that they did in terms of fashion illustration. They had a theme based around nature and they um, expressed themselves. This was what they kind of came up with um, as they tried and, and tested different ways of drawing, okay? So like I said, you don't have to be a brilliant drawer. You can use a template, it is allowed, okay? And then you, you can experiment how you kind of interpret um, what you use in the media, like watercolor, acrylic paint, ink, fine liner, pencils, um, it could be collage, like you can see. So yeah, you'll find your own style. Um, right, okay, so on that note, you have an activity. So after I've finished speaking, please press pause and have a go. So why don't you try out what my year 10s did um, when they first came in in September and like trying to get more confident with drawing and finding their own style. Um, so let me read the task out for you. So just like our year tens, now um, have a go at some experimental fashion illustration drawings yourself. Your garment needs to be based on the theme of nature. You can create your design using anything, iPad, computer, pencil, pen, cutting a template and using nature to take photographs like the example shown. So the images I put on the sides for you here on the screen, um, either draw Draw yourself like a garment, anything, and then carefully, if you can, please be safe, um, use scissors to cut out an empty stencil of the garment and hold it up to a texture, hold it up to um, brickwork, hold it up, um, put it on the pavement, put it um, by a fire if you've got a fireplace, um, put up against the sky, as you can see here, put it up against a window with the water droplets behind it, take a photograph, send it to me. So experiment. So these are all ways that you could present your fashion illustrations on your coursework when you get to year 11. They look really great. They're exciting and they express your own unique style in a different way. Or you could, um, again, use pencil, like you can see our students have done on the, um, the right-hand side, sorry, the left-hand side. Um, you can still use traditional pencils, felt tips, whatever, you, if that's what you feel comfortable with, or you can be a bit more um, experimental, try and collage. So if you want to go out and get some leaves or twigs, etc., or some fruit, um, peel a tangerine, what can you do with the, uh, the skin of it? Um, so yeah, that's your first attempt, really. So give it a pause now and um, go and get some paper if you have any and cut yourself either a template, go and get some fruit, some leaves, etc. Design an outfit based on nature. Okay, so I'm just going to go back a notch. So this was what my, some of my students came up with. There's more on our Instagram page if you want to have a look. Um, but yeah, so what could be your interpretation for a garment based on nature? It could be a print. It could be a more literal um, interpretation. We've got like a, some kind of nature um, leaves, etc., on it, like you can see here. Um, yeah, it's completely up to you. So pause it now and have a go. Please email me your um, your designs. I'd love to see, and I'm going to post them on Instagram and give you some house points. So pause now and go and design some really fantastic and um, exciting and interesting 
garments based on nature it could be anything right there's no right or wrong so please don't hold back anything that comes to mind don't overthink it just go for it and have fun with it all right okay i'm going to move on to the next task but you can pause now and go and attempt it and send me your design ideas okay i'm going to move on to the next task now right the next task is for you to do an upcycling task so find a product in your home that is either so again this is current year 10 work this is by yasmin in my year 10 class right now um, so find a product in your home that is either old or unused. Can you design it into something else? Can you upcycle it? So upcycling is when you use something old and you turn it into something new. Even better, can you design and make it into something exciting and fun? Do you have anything at home that you could possibly make it out of? If not, it can even be newspaper that you could just maybe stencil and tape together and create something really, really kind of abstract and um, fun and crazy. So if you want to be a bit more hands on, um, yeah, if, even if it's old newspaper, whatever you've got home, can you turn something old into something new and really like different and new? There is no theme, so it could be anything. You can see Yasmin's um, taken the idea of taking a plastic IKEA bag and she's mind mapped visually that she could turn it into a hat, a dress or even like a, an outside um, outdoors coat. And you can see some more planning on the left hand corner here, taking a plastic bag and the, the lids of like the cans, the aluminium cans and turning it into like a skirt all kind of um, chained together, taking a basketball and turning it into a bag. This does actually exist. Um, and then taking old clothes and making it into another garment, etc. OK, so could you design an existing product and turn it into something new? Um, could you possibly make it? Try and have a look what's in your house right now. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Please don't worry if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need a sewing machine. Um, please just have fun with it. Do you have sellotape? Do you have staplers? Do you have paper clips? What could you possibly draw, mine that, plan it out, and then make it and send it to me? So that'll be fantastic if you could have a go and send me some photos. Again, house points and um, your designs and makes going on um, Instagram, your photos, right? Okay, so if you have any other questions about um, textiles, do let me know. So just to reiterate, it is 50% exam, um, where you'll be covering the five DT core topics. So that's section A and section B is your textiles theory knowledge, which you'll be answering about. So that's the exam, okay, where it's got section part, um, part A and part B, 50%, and your coursework, which is kind of... Um, you know, based on a, a major project that you'll do at the end of year 11 and carry on, sorry, at the end of year 10 and carry on into year 11, that project will be based on a theme that the exam board gives out, then you'll pursue and mind map that and research it and continues and follow through an entire project right to the end where you've made something substantial at the end, okay? And, and again, in year 10, you'll have lots of fun and exciting um, smaller projects to build up your skills and build up your sketching skills, etc. Um, for you to be really confident when you get to the end of year 10 to be embark on a major project. OK, right. Any questions, please do let me know. Um, I'd love to see your designs. Have a go and send them to me. So do have a go at these kind of fashion illustrations and try and have a go at this one if you can and send me your design ideas. But apart from that, um, it'd be great for you to, uh, to have you on board. I look forward to seeing you um, take textiles and enjoy it. I love te teaching you at Key Stage 4. I love seeing what comes out um, at the end of year 11. And um, it's always really fun and exciting and very, very fulfilling is what my um, students say when they get to the end when they see their products um, come from here to paper to a final outcome at the end. So we can display it in the atrium in the kind of um, exhibition at the end of the year at Charter School. OK, right. Any questions, do let me know. Thank you very much for watching and take part in the activities and send them to me. Thank you very much. Bye.